Hi everyone, Helen Blunden here or at Activate Learn on Twitter. Thought I'd do a very quick video on something that I am doing with regards to my French language learning. Some of you might know that I have been learning French the last 18 months or so. I have been making a big effort into trying to improve my French language skills. And recently I saw a MOOC, which is a massive open online course delivered through Coursera that I thought I may as well give it a go and see because it's my first time that I am doing a French language course through a MOOC. So what I'll do is I'll just share my screen so you can have a look at what I am currently doing and how a MOOC is structured. Now those of you might not know that MOOCs are massive open online courses. There are a whole heap out there on the internet and Coursera is one of the big ones. LinkedIn Learning um, is another one. edX is another one. There's a whole range of them. If you don't already know about them, all I suggest is Google MOOC and it comes to you. This is a great way of being able to learn for free. Although MOOC sometimes also you can pay for it or if you need to do an assessment or a certificate, you pay for it to get that qualification. But for this situation, this MOOC is completely free and I decided to start doing it to see how I go with it. Now in the MOOC itself, it has obviously some course information and it tells you about the different teachers. There are a few teachers here from the Ecole Polytechnique. So these teachers are brilliant. I am enjoying their videos as they go through the different pieces of content. For every MOOC, you're going to have an overview and in the overview, it gives you a high level of how the course is structured over the weeks. Coursera also provides a weekly goal. For me, I like to spend at least half an hour every day on French of some sort. And so I incorporate doing this MOOC as part of that half an hour. It outlines exactly uh, what is in each week, all the different videos, the readings, the practice exercises, any assessments, anything else, and anything in green is what has been completed. And you can see here that there are some quizzes, there are some grades here, but you can also repeat these quizzes if you don't happen to pass the first time around. You get a couple of extra goes to, um, to, to pass to get to the pass mark. The way it's structured is really interesting because there are different ways of doing the different activities. So say for example, there's a section on grammar, there's a section on writing, there's a section on the social learning piece, which is the discussion bit where you write something for a discussion board. And there are readings as well. So the whole course is all about living and studying in France. So there's a theme running through it. Okay, so you can see here it's arriving in France, then adapting to life in France, studying in French, um, being assisted in courses, communicating and integrating and life in France. Now, you might be thinking, well, you know, how do you go about taking notes in this? Well, it's really interesting because with each of the sections, there are various notes that a note space that you can use to take notes. Now, you can see here that I have also created some some notes as well. But ultimately, I like to do things a little bit different. I use OneNote and I use OneNote as my notebook and also my translating service. So I'll give you an indication of, of what it looks like here. So this is my OneNote notebook. As I'm going through the course, I copy and paste things. And then I actually use the translation element in OneNote. So here you go, you go translate. And up on the right, you're effectively translating it from French to English. And then what you could do is you can insert the content like I did here. I just go insert and bang, it goes in there. Nice, simple. But don't think that I am just copying and pasting 
and making everything into English. The intention here is every time I come across a word that I don't understand, I'll translate it, I'll highlight it, and then use that as a means of learning. So let me show you. If I scroll down, you'll see the different colors that I use. So it basically means that I read the content and anything in yellow is what I would need to explore and I follow it through here in English. So généralement means usually or bou ends and so forth. Je me rends compte, I realize. So the color really helps me uh, pick out the different vocab and then what I try and do is in that week with my discussion with my friend who lives overseas and knows French, I will try and wangle those words into conversation. Hopefully in that way I'll be able to remember it because remembering is also something that we really need to do in language learning. So let me go back to the Coursera page. You've got discussion forums as well. These discussion forums are all part of the different weeks and I really look through those and see what people have mentioned about the, the content. Sometimes I don't know if they're, it's written correctly or not. After all, we're French learners. And sometimes I feel as if, if I'm reading this, I could get the gist of it. But if it's not correct, because they are students themselves, then I'm actually integrating and learning incorrect usage. So sometimes I, I do I don't read the discussion boards simply because I'd much rather have that content come from the teachers so I could learn it in the correct format as opposed to the discussion board. However, it doesn't stop me from writing things. And one only thing I do wish that these discussion boards had was people correcting the content that is up there. So, for example, if I write something, I want people to write the correct way. And I'm currently using an app called Hello Talk, which allows me to do that and allows me to have people from all around the world who are French speakers actually correct me when I'm writing in the different communities. So that's the only minor thing I would say about the Coursera. So ultimately, you, you can have a site where, you know, there's pages. It's telling me that I've got two assignments due, which I will do. And there's a lot of work there, as you can see. There's a lot of work. Now, you might be asking how much time would it require? I mean, they're saying, God, are this saying anything five or six hours? And that's what I'm finding. I'm finding there's a lot of time to go through the content. The videos vary from four minutes to 10 minutes. The readings all vary as well. And it's really dependent on how much time you've got to do this. For me, I think how this helps me is the reading and the writing bit. Definitely reading and writing and listening. Reading, writing, listening. It doesn't help me with my speaking. My speaking is really the application of what I learn with my conversations elsewhere. So, you know, MOOCs have pros and cons, I guess. And if you're especially learning a language through a MOOC, the conversation piece is missing. So you'll need to supplement it through in different ways. But anyway, I thought I just wanted to share that with you so you could see what a language learning MOOC looks like. And I'll keep you posted how I go with this and how I'm finding it. So let me know if you are doing a MOOC yourself, whatever MOOC, it doesn't have to be a language learning course, how are you finding it? What do you like about it? What, where are the gaps? And what are you doing to fill those gaps? Right, that's it. <laughs> Bye for now.